Hello, my name is Caitlin Graham, and I am presenting the video abstract for the review titled Overcoming Tumor Hypoxia as a Barrier to Radiotherapy, Chemotherapy, and Immunotherapy in Cancer Treatment, in which I am a co-author with Dr. Evan Unger. Tumor hypoxia is prevalent to some degree in most solid tumors. The data on this slide demonstrates the collective results of 125 clinical studies that show the hypoxic state of varying types of solid tumors. There are several mechanisms involved in the development of hypoxia in tumors. The figure in this slide demonstrates an example of diffusion-limited oxygen delivery in which the cells in the periphery of the tumor are further from the vascular supply and are thus hypoxic. As tumors develop regions of hypoxia, they must adjust their metabolism to adapt to this oxygen-depleted microenvironment. Tumors acclimate through activation of hypoxia-inducible factors, which in turn upregulate the expression of multiple genes that promote tumor survival, making solid tumors difficult to treat. As cancer therapy is significantly affected by hypoxia, a number of methods have been developed to measure and assess tumor hypoxia. Non-invasive imaging methods offer an important benefit to precision medicine for cancer treatment by providing the location of the hypoxic microregions throughout the entire tumor. Tumor hypoxia impedes cancer treatment. As the primary mechanism of radiation is the creation of reactive oxygen species, a diminished oxygen supply in the tumor leads to reduced effects. Since the tumor has limited vasculature due to its rapid growth, there exists a diffusion barrier between the drug supply blood vessels and the tumor cells, leading to treatment resistance for a number of anti-cancer agents. Immunotherapy is affected by hypoxia due to the change in metabolism in tumor cells to anaerobic glycolysis, which results in overproduction of adenosine. Extracellular intratumoral adenosine is a potent suppressor of T cells. Given the importance of hypoxia as a barrier to effective cancer treatment, several approaches have been undertaken to overcome tumor hypoxia, which are discussed in the review. Many of these approaches have largely failed due to limited efficacy and or adverse side effects. A more recent fluorocarbon oxygen transport agent to be tested as a radiosensitizer is dodecafluoropentane emulsion, also known as DDFPE or NVX-108. Various chemical properties of the fluorocarbon, dodecafluoropentane, allow it to carry far more oxygen per gram than previously developed fluorocarbons. NVX-108 has completed enrollment in a Phase 1b-2 clinical trial in primary glioblastoma multiform patients. Current results from the study of NVX-108 indicate safety and a trend of improvement in the overall survival of patients. In conclusion, tumor hypoxia is prevalent and a major obstacle to effective cancer treatment. At least two different products designed to reverse tumor hypoxia are currently in clinical trials. Randomized, prospective, placebo-controlled clinical trials will be necessary to show efficacy for new drugs to treat tumor hypoxia.